Welcome, Wellspring, to your eighth day of the 21-day challenge for prayer and fasting. You are officially in week two. And so I'm excited to be able to start this off with you guys. And we're going to be talking about growth today, and specifically in Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. Let's go ahead and read that. It says, And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, equipping the saints for the work of ministry to build up the body of Christ until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of God's Son, growing into maturity with a stature measured by Christ's fullness. Then we will no longer be little children tossed by the waves and blown around by every wind of teaching, by human cunning, cunning with cleverness and the techniques of deceit. But speaking the truth in love, let us grow in every way into him who is the head Christ. From him, the whole body, fitted and knit together by every supporting ligament, promotes the growth of the body, for building up itself in love by the proper working of each individual part. I don't know about you, but growth is something that I always want to pursue in my life, and it can be quite difficult. And as I was thinking about what to say today, it actually came to my mind uh, about an illustration uh, from the movie uh, Thor Ragnarok. And so in that movie, uh, Thor, the main character, is, is blown a, a pretty, pretty big defeat. And in the midst of his defeat, he's questioning who he is. He's lost sight of who he is. And that's just making things worse. And so there's a scene where he goes and visits his dad, and his dad reminds him of who he is. And it changes the trajectory of the whole movie. It changes the trajectory of Thor's life. And today I want to encourage you. There's so many times when we're looking at ourselves that we lose sight of who we are. Whether it's because life is busy or we forget who we are or we start comparing ourselves to other people. It's so easy to lose sight of that, to think that we're not enough. But I want to encourage you that God created you and knew the world needed you. Not another version of the person you look up to, not another version of, of Pastor Eric or myself or David or anyone that you look up to. The world needed you, and God has gifted you with unique gifts and talents to help step into your mission. And today, I want to encourage you to pray that over yourself, for you to know who you are and to step into your calling. And once you do, God is going to start working and doing amazing things through you. Thank you.